Setting up your system preferences and your GarageBand audio preferences is a very easy thing to do. It has to do with what's called signal routing. Uh, the first thing is I'm going to go to the system preferences and then I'm going to choose sound. And you'll notice that you can do effects, output, or input. I'm looking at output. So you may have a, a several things to choose from here. Uh, most people, the default setting is your internal speakers. That's the speakers that are in your in computer. And then I'm going to choose the input where the signal's coming from. So if I wanted to record using the microphone that's built into my computer, I simply hit the internal microphone. If I wanted to choose the line input, that means I'm going to plug something into the computer in itself, which is on the side or back of your computer. You can choose that. You may have some other things to choose from here, but most people will have these two, internal microphone and uh, line in. So that's it. That's all you have to do. And close this window. It will set it for you. Then I'm going to click on GarageBand and go to the GarageBand preferences. Every single piece of uh, software has its own preferences. So you'll see that you have general settings, which is probably the default, or the audio MIDI settings. So my audio input, I'm just going to go with, I can choose the system settings and it will default to that. I can change the audio driver, yes. And then I can also choose, again, the input and go to the system settings and change and say yes. And now uh, my output and input will be according to the system settings. Um, now, because my output here, I chose uh, the speakers, I can click on GarageBand and it will play that. My input right now in GarageBand, because my system settings, remember, change the system settings to be the line input. If I wanted to record using the microphone, I would have to go back and choose the built-in microphone and it's going to change the driver. And then if I wanted to record uh, in GarageBand using the built-in microphone on my computer, I could do that. And I'll check the system preferences here. And it still says line in, but I can test my microphone and make changes to the uh, amount of gain input. That means the amount of signal that's being allowed into the computer so that I do or don't overload when I'm recording or get a louder or softer sound here through the microphone, uh, that's how you control it. So those are the system preferences and GarageBand preferences for setting up sound going into and out of your computer.